I'm having a lot of fun. I really like snacks. Hey, what up? It's your girl Michaela Grace here, and welcome back. So today we are doing an unboxing of this thing called Snack Crate. So this is Snack Crate. Um, Snack Crate is a monthly subscription of snacks from around the world. You can get like different amounts. There's like different sizes. I have what's called the mini, I believe, and they give you about five snacks. And then it also comes with an information palette about whatever country you got that month. And you get to learn all these um, really cool facts about it too. So it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open it. All right, I've got my scissors, I've got my box. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so when you open it, it looks like this. And this month we have Switzerland. So that's the, oops. So that's the thing. And, oh, there's stickers. Okay, so this is like a pack of stickers that they did. I think that's new. I didn't get these last time. So that's pretty cool. And then they'll give you like the information page and then the rest of it is just like telling you a little bit about um, all the snacks. So there's, and it tells you the different sizes you can get. So there's mini, original, premium, and the drink upgrade they have like swiss like wrapping paper which is really cute and then i'm just gonna open it we have i think these are like crackers or chips i'm not sure and it's like original shipping so you don't really know what it says sometimes like all of the information on the back is in, I think Swiss is their language, like their main language, but yeah. Okay, so these are Dancer Cream Snackity from Zwiefel. Okay, um, this is the front, I don't know if I showed you guys that. And then we have also from Zwiefel, I think they're like a chip company for, cause these are chips for sure. These are paprika original chips. Um, and then it says some stuff in Swiss, and I don't know what it says. So there's those. They kind of look like the, the feels reminds me of like the Ricola or like green bean commercials. Yeah. Okay, um, now we have like a whole bunch of like little stuff. So this is Milka Cake and Chalk. Um, so I'm guessing it's kind of like a little chocolate cake. Okay. Um, this is, oh, there's so many words. Okay. This is from Chocolarium. Chocolarium. Um, it's called Munz. And the rest is in that I don't know. So it looks like it's just like a chocolate protein bar. Um, it's got like white milk chocolate and then like regular chocolate on the inside. Oh, these are cute. What is this? These are Sadix, original Sadix Browse Sauce Bin Classic. If I'm saying this wrong, someone please tell me. Um, and they have like different flavors. So they kind of look like bottle caps, but in the form of sticks is what I'm getting the vibe of. So there's those. And then, oh, I've seen these before. These are Toblerones of Switzerland. Um, and they just put like four of them in here. Um, they come in like different colors. So there's like a white one, that's another white one, a yellow one, and a black one. Um, and I think these are just like little chocolates. Cause I've seen this company name before, so I think this is like one of those candies that they like typically sell internationally. And then we have what looks like a whole bunch of little giant starbursts. 
These are called Shugus or Sugus. And there's orange, lemon, and strawberry that I have. So this is the orange, lemon, and strawberry. And fun fact about myself, I am allergic to strawberries, so I can't eat um, the red ones because they're all strawberry. So that's a bummer. But um, there's like, they sent me so much. I'm guessing it's a popular fit flavor there, but like, I can't uh, enjoy that. They sent me like seven of those and then two orange and one lemon. So interesting, but okay. So let's get to snacking. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try the paprika chips first. I think they have, okay, so on the back it has like a little picture of like what's in them. And it looks like they have jalapeno in them, so I'm actually kind of nervous now because I don't handle spice very well. But I'm gonna just take one for the team. They taste like Lay's barbecue. This actually isn't bad. Okay. It's gluten free, lactose free, and it's vegan. Somehow I made that out. They sell it like at the bottom. I kind of figured it out with the pictures, but like also the words are a bit similar, which you'll find that a lot. Like a lot of languages have like similar wording depending on like what their root language is. And a lot of languages um, come from Latin, so. The company has been around since 1958 as a family tradition. I like their little like health chart thing, like the information chart. It just looks really cool compared to ours. Like American nutrition charts just look like so much work. Let's read a little bit about Switzerland. Oh, it's a See, it used to be like a book, so you could open it like this, but they made it to where it opens like this. Okay. So their capital is Bern. Their official languages are German, French, Italian, and Romance. Oh, so I guess I was reading German. That makes sense, right? That makes sense. Oh, these look weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Because they look like... Like they actually look like these little people, but <laughs> it just looks like a deformed person. <laughs> mm. oh. I don't know what flavor this is. It's like salty, but like vanilla, I don't know. What's in you? I can't read. That's a shame. They taste good. Okay. Their population is 8,500,898 people. So this is the milk cake. It smells good. I feel like this is their version of Little Debbie's. Okay, this this is the cake. Okay, it looks like it was actually baked, which is good. The bottom looks like a Belgian waffle. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Not bad. It just tastes like a little cake. Um, the area is 15,940 square miles, which I don't know what that means, but it seems like a lot. I want to try this just because it's 
sometimes this is what I'm trying I realize you guys couldn't see it um sometimes I am weird about like praline so it's very soft and milky I'm guessing it's the white chocolate it's really good though it's just very creamy um if you guys have had a zero bar it kind of tastes like that mm -hmm. and they show you like their flag um i think this is this is their capital it's a view of the old city center and Nideg Brook Bridge over River Air. It looks really pretty. This is where all the drug dealers send their money, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try the little candy sticks, the Sadix candy sticks. They're kind of broken, so <laughs> I'm gonna try and be careful. But they have like different flavors, orange, lemon, I'm guessing, apple, cola, and I don't know what Himbeer Gishmak is, but it's pink, so I don't know if I should try it. So I'm guessing that's all natural flavor. This is orange. Ooh, that is. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, <laughs> it's a little sour, um, but that just might be me. Okay, so there's like a map, and they show you like the capital. So I'm gonna do the little fruit chews. Um, I'll just do orange for now, um, just to try it out. Just like a Starburst, guys. Mm -hmm. They're a bit bigger than an orange, or what am I saying? They're a bit bigger than a Starburst though, so it's going to take a bit more chewing, but they're softer, which is nice. Um, officially known as the Swiss Confederation, Switzerland is a landlocked nation located in the heart of Europe. I really like dark chocolate, so I'm going to try this one first. I like that they're in like little triangles. I really like triangles. So I don't know if you guys have ever had to learn chocolate, but it comes out like this, like a little triangle. It's kind of melting already, but oh, there's nuts in it. Mmm. This is very dark chocolate. But it's so good. The geography includes the famous mountain vistas of the Alps, the Swiss plateau with its major po population centers, and the Jura, a subalpine mountain range that serves as the boundary between Switzerland and France. Switzerland is one of the world's most developed countries, and its citizens have the highest level of nominal wealth, as well as the eighth highest per capita gross domestic product. This is the milk chocolate. I think they all have nuts in them, so if you're allergic to nuts, be careful. It's so creamy, it's delicious. Popular pastimes include winter skiing, swing and wrestling, and hornacing, which is like a cross between baseball and golf. I would like to see how that's played out. Swiss chocolate gained worldwide fame in the 19th century that continues to this day, and popular dishes such as fondue that feature melted gruyere or emmental cheese have also found global popularity. Interesting. And the classic. It's like a bit stronger than Hershey's milk chocolate, so I like that because um, 
I've just eaten like so much dark chocolate over the past few years that I just don't like milk chocolate anymore. Fun facts, uh, Switzerland is home to 450 varieties of cheese. Wow. There are over 200 mountains taller than 9,000 feet in Switzerland, making it one of the highest altitude countries in the world. Along with Vatican City, Switzerland is the only other country in the world to have a square flag. That is interesting. Um, Switzerland produces the most chocolate in the world. <laughs> uh, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web in Switzerland in 1989. Thank you, Tim Berners-Lee. All right, well, that is it for today, guys. Um, if you guys want, next video will be um, my Christmas haul. I've just been getting some like late Christmas presents in, so I just wanted to make sure that I had as much as possible to give you guys the best video. So that will be coming up. Um, and there might be some other things in the works, not really sure yet. Um, the holidays are coming to a close, Christmas is in the past, but New Year's Eve is coming up. If you guys know what you're doing for New Year's Eve, comment down below. Have a great time, a safe time, and let me know if you want to see like more snack crate unboxings. Let me know if I should like maybe upgrade to the original size or the, oops, excuse me, or the premium um or like the drink upgrade like just let me know if you guys even want to keep seeing it and thank you for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and i hope i made your guys this monday is a little bit brighter bye chocolate in the world albert hoffman a swiss chemist was the first to discover the powerful effects of lsd in 1943 Good job, Hoffman.